Uh, my name is Rennie Edo Lodge. I'm a writer and journalist. Uh, I am the author of uh, Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race, which I've just spoken about at the festival. It's important to me to come and meet readers uh, at this festival because uh, the book is a, it's a conversation. It's not just me. And so I'm keen to hear not only what people think, but how people are sort of applying these ideas to their lives. My next step, who knows? I didn't really plan beyond this book. So just watch this space, people. <laughs> watch this space. I've been to Rennie Edo Lodge talking about why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. And I absolutely loved the book when it came out and I saw she'd done quite a lot of publicity events for it down south so I'm really glad she came to the Edinburgh Book Festival because all my friends down south have been to see her and I hadn't so that was cool. What did you think? It was absolutely excellent, it was fascinating. I could have listened for hours. It was such a shame it only lasted an hour, it could have gone on. It was just absolutely fascinating, really was, just great. I've heard her be interviewed on Woman's Hour and it just sparked my interest and I thought, yeah, I'd like to hear some more. It humanises the book, doesn't it? It makes you see that person, it makes you see like what's the soul behind the writing and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's in there as well but it just adds an extra dimension, an extra experience which makes it very special. It's a, it was a very enlightening experience for me because I'm not being a white person, I think it was kind of um, reflected my own experience of life. I thought it was excellent. Um, this is my first time at the book festival and I thought it, Rennie um, was excellent. It was, she was everything I expected. Um, but um, I didn't have the book before, so I was interested to know what she had to say about it before buying the book. I was going to buy it anyway, but I wanted to know what she had to say. And um, yeah, and I was interested to see how the audience would interact with her as well, which was quite interesting. Um, especially as being in Scotland because um, I think race relations is very different in Scotland than it is in um, England so yeah that was quite interesting. Well Rennie is someone that I've been tracking and following for quite some time because her work is very pertinent to my lived experience and um, she's helped me, her work has helped me understand the place I have within society and why some of the things I find challenging are challenging but also um, to give validity to that to that to that um, to, to those feelings and those um, um, emotional reactions to racism and living in um, um, a white dominated world oh I I think it is absolutely fantastic that you know we can have this open debate and discussion conversation about it we you know people were able to ask questions and she was very um, uh, articulate in terms of um, talking about the um, the motivation and what inspired her and the reason behind obviously writing the book that started out um, with a blog because she is a journalist and a blogger so uh, the book was actually born out of a blog and the response she got to the blog. Yeah, this is my first time at the book festival. Um, this event drew me in because I'm interested, obviously, as a woman of colour living in Scotland, which is predominantly white, um, you know, culture and um, race and society. And this book particularly interests me for that reason, also in terms of, you know, my own personal experiences of racism, um, not only living in Scotland, but also um, as a South African person who has sort of grown up and um, lived in the apartheid um, era. I think. Um, you know, this is a conversation that we've been having for centuries, not decades, and it's necessary that we need to progress and continue to have these conversations so that we can acknowledge, you know, the, I suppose, white privilege and also structural oppression, you know, in terms of, if I should theme it in terms of the main themes out of today's conversation, was that for me.